previously on Lumps the Clown Entertainment. On a fool's route here, and I've already been over here. The only way to find out is to do it. See, I just like to be double sure, because I don't want to have to come back to an area. Yep, nobody in here. I've been in here. Okay. So now we can go further back down in that chamber. And move on with our goddamn lives. You know, I'm tired of messing with these guys. We're gonna go ahead and spider ball it while I take a smoke break. Da 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 da. <laughs> Those guys, they do look weird. I'm telling you, man. Ah, uh, good old nicotine. Blah, blah, blah. Now, for the folks who may be brand new here, uh, former smoker, uh, two, three packs a day at one point, and that's no joke. I'd fucking sometimes I'd double fist it when I was at work. I'd have two burning in each hand, and I'm like, no, I gotta put a stop to this because my lungs got about the size of peanuts, and they felt like they were full of snot and tar. So it's, it was time to change something. Yeah, I'm taking this route because I'm just about sick and tired of dealing with those guys. The fucking flight patterns weird me out. And I don't want to fall into the lava, risk any life, because i got a full fucking thing of health right now. And I'm interested in holding on to that. What? And one for you. Same plasma fucking beam. Take them out quick. Those fucking fish should take like a million hits with your normal beam. No more. And these fucking flower guys, they also take quite a bit too. It really, they look like fucking flower pots coming out of the wall. It's really weird. Whoa! That was really fucking weird. I can't quite jump high enough to do the fucking spider ball. And it continues all the way through. Wow! Well, that's good to know. If I ever want to spider ball it later, then I'll know how to. For those, you gotta shoot with your missile, obviously. Everything else doesn't do shit to it, not even the plasma beam. Alright, so that must be what those things look like alive, so even their corpses hurt you. Must be made of some pretty gnarly shit, if you ask me. Uh. New area. So I'm excited to see what's in here. We've got 13 Metroids left. Yeah, he was easy. I've right, got him. I'm going to fall down in here for a little bit, and I'm going to check this out before I climb up. If I keep that pattern, then maybe it might be easier for me to remember shit. Uh, you're learning with me as we move along through here. Missiles! Oh, man. That looks really fucking awesome in the Red Edition right there, folks. This fucking water right here looks like a fucking sea of blood. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, so we can go up over here and not feel too bad about it. Uh, God damn it. Die, bitch. Alright, so that was kind of a dirty victory, but we got up there. Uh oh, lots of spikes. Lots of spikes.
What the hell is over here? Good lord. Oh, a Metroid. Ah. Uh-oh. So I can't remember what this one is. It's like an Omega or whatever, but yeah. This little shit can move fast. You know, I'm gonna make sure that you got plenty of room to fucking fire your missiles at him. His only vulnerable area is his belly. And unfortunately, you gotta jump into his line of fire to hit him. And the little shit takes like 15 or 20 missiles to take out. But thank God there ain't too many of them either. They fucking suck. And then there's also the uh, the Omega or the Alphas or whatever the hell they are. I can't remember. Now feel free to let us know for anyone else you might. And of course I might research that as I'm eating my delicious pizza. And by the time we get to this point, I'm probably gonna be nice and full, kicking back and just fucking relaxing because it's been a lot of horse shit to get this one out to you folks so I hope you appreciate it and I hope you're enjoying it most of all yep there's a Metroid up here uh. Yeah, yeah, da, ah, gotcha. God damn, fucking spikes everywhere, man. All right, we need to get that life, that thug life. You know that fucking thug life where I play Metroid Two all day on a Saturday. <laughs> all right, nothing in there. I'm gonna cruise up the wall. And another Metroid shell. Where are you at, bitch? I want your blood in my mouth. So we are up to a 210 missiles. That's pretty fucking cool. I don't think I'm really going to have to worry about running out of missiles at this point. Unless I get absolutely stupid with my resources. Oh, that was an epic jump. That should go down to fucking Metroid 2 history. The basketball bouncing off the wall fucking jump. Oh, could that mean a Metroid's in here? I don't know, man! Oh, God. Another one of these guys. So I'm pretty sure the name of this guy is Gamma. And then, because the, the big ones are like the Omegas, and I remember them. Because there's like five of them or some shit, and they terrified the holy living fuck out of me. Just because of their size. I mean, these guys right here are probably your biggest threat because of how maneuverable they are. I mean, the fucking Omegas are not that fucking fast. I mean, it's not really much to worry about. But them motherfuckers, though, they are quick. Not sure what's over here, but we're gonna check it out. We're starting to get to the point now where uh, you'll normally get just like regular beams and shit like that. Unless it's the screw attack. Like this! Give me that shit. So that's gonna pretty much null out those assholes that have those uh, shields for wings. So I can fly right through them and they ain't gonna do shit. Depending that I actually keep my spin up, because that's probably the biggest problem that you'll have. So if you don't keep your spin up, then of course it's going to hurt you still. Get up there. Now these guys are really strong. Their only uh, weak point is their ass, so you gotta shoot right for it. Now there's something right here. We are now down to a Peasley nine Metroids to go. This is awesome. All 
Okay, one of these guys. I'm not too worried about them anymore. Unless they trap me like this! Gotcha! Asshole. Fucking run like a bitch, and then he stays up there until you fly up there, and all of a sudden, OH, I'M GONNA KILL YOU, THAMETH! Man, the fucking red edition of this room just looks epic. I love it. It's like some crackhead's version of a tribal or some shit. It's really awesome. Well, now I'm just flying around. And I'm pretty sure that that middle area... Okay, yep, there was something here. I need to go down here and see what's up. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Now, this is going to be almost next to impossible on the uh, Red Edition. So what I'm trying to do now is that there's another area that you can jump up into. I'm trying to find it. It's not easy, though. About flying blind right about now. Oh, what's over here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm looking. Yeah, you see that? You can get your other energy tank right there, but it's really hard to get to, especially in Red Edition. You gotta try to find a way to make your way to the right here as far as you can. I can only surmise that I'm moving left right now because Samus is all the way. You know, she was on the left hand side of the screen. And if you were playing this in the regular mode, then you wait, well, you would be just seeing black, is what you'd be seeing right now. I think I got it. I did! Now if I can just nail it. Uh, yeah! That is our, in fact, final energy tank that we can score for real. Now you can get the other one, but that's just going to fill you up. And that's more towards the end of the game, if I recall correctly. Got you. Got you. Got you. Now, I'm not sure if there's a Metroid in here or not, but oh god, there's fucking floors that... Alright, so you see this area here? This is where you get all those other beams at. If you ever needed to get the ice beam or the spacer or whatever else, they're all in here. But I'm going to go ahead and forego those for right now. I'll be picking up the ice beam when I get near towards the uh, Metroid Queen. Yeah, I know, I'm fucking ganking that for all it's worth, but I need to get up here. <laughs> this looks like a new area. Let's see what it's all about. Ooh. Mm, gotcha. It takes me right back out to this way. So we're gonna go over here now. Uh, nothing! Well, so much for a new area, folks. Sorry about the uh, false alarm there. I used to be able to land on that exact millisecond and press start and <laughs> jump at the same time. I used to really have fun with this game. Still do, but trying to remember all the tricks that I used to employ is almost next to impossible. 
I spent so much time with this game that I just sort of dicking around with the, the mechanics and seeing what I can and couldn't get away with. And you learned a lot of cool shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Next time on Lump the Clown Entertainment. Excellent. I have taken a little bit more life than I wanted to, though. Alright, awesome. We can move on.